Well, it's Tuesday, the 26th of December, 2023, and that means it's the weekly reset in Destiny 2 where the content rotates, the vendors and the challenges reset, and we got a chance for new content to be added to the game. Well, stay tuned for info related to the dawning. We'll get the latest from Season of the Wish. We've got Banshee's weekly weapons and what is in the Ever store this week. Well, first of all, it is week five of Season of the Wish, and that means we've got a new story in the Wishing All the Best quest, so make your way to the helm to catch up on the latest story beats. It's also the final week of the dawning, so if you haven't got those god roll dawning weapons just yet, well, then this is the week to do it. And we should have an addition to Starcross this week with a new catalyst for our strand bow. So definitely jump into that and let me know down in the comments what it's like. Well, for the exotic mission rotator this week, we got the presage mission. And that means the Dead Man's Tail exotic scout rifle is back and that one is craftable as well. So definitely jump into that. It looks really, really good. For the featured raid for the week, we've got the Vow of the Disciple. And as you can see, all of the challenges are available. And for the featured dungeon, this week it's the Prophecy Dungeon. That is a really, really good one. Blast in the past, but still very, very good fun. In terms of the Nightfall content and the Grandmaster Nightfall content, we've got the Corrupted and the Uzume RR4 is available. So look forward to that sniper. That is back in the game this season jump into the Corrupted for your Nightfall this week. Well, Trials of Osiris is back later on this weekend. We've also got Mayhem. And we've got Checkmate Countdown as well. And also, we've got double rewards available in the Crucible this week. So, really good chance to jump into Crucible and get that Crucible loot. Well, it is week five of Season of the Wish. So, let's check out the seasonal challenges. So, we've got Wish Seeker. Five, so complete week five of wishing all the best. But Dream Crusher, so defeat bosses and mini bosses in Riven's Lair or the Coil. We've got Dragon's Defender 4, so defeat targets with hand cannons or submachine guns and gain additional progress from Guardian Final Blows and Final Blows with Riven's Lair or the Coil. And we've got Neptune's activities, so in the Amuna, complete bounties, patrols, public events, and lost sectors. We got commendation, appreciation, so earn progress from giving commendations in Vanguard, Crucible, and Gambit activities. We got potent projectiles, so defeat guardians in Crucible or Gambit with bows, hand cannons, pulse rifles, auto rifles, or rocket launchers, and then bonus progress for rocket launcher final blows. Then we got boss battles, so defeat bosses in strikes or Vanguard playlists, and bonus progress is granted for defeating bosses on hero difficulty or higher. Well, next up, let's have a look at the raid challenges available in Destiny 2. So we've got the Root of Nightmares on Neomuna. We've got the All Hands Challenge. Go over to the Legends tab and Crow's End first. The challenge here is Equal Vessels. In the King's Fall raid, we have Devious Thievery. Then over to the Vault of Glass, we have Out of Its Way. On the Dreaming City here, we've got the Last Wish. The challenge here is Witch Witch. Let's have a look at the Moon with the Garden of Salvation. And that challenge is Leftovers. Then we've got, over on Deepstone Crypt on Europa, the challenge there is Of All Trades. That's your raid challenges for the week. Well, we are in the tower. It's Tuesday. It's reset day. Hope you had a good Christmas. Let's check out and see what Banshee weekly weapons are today. So first of all, check out the focus decoding. So we've got the Surus weapons and the Omelon weapons this week. We've got the Amit AR2. That is a very popular one. What else do we have? We have... The Carto is pretty good. Inco Patient 53... The Cantata, also pretty good, so not bad weapons in there. Let's have a look at the other weapons, so the featured weapons. Whispering Slab here, first of all. High Tension String, Fiberglass Arrow Shaft, Range Finder, Wash Buckler. Too bad. Artesian Coordinate, this is a favourite from, from the past. Hitmark IS, Liquid Coils, Slideways Thresh. Not really a very good roll there. We've got the Annual Skate. 
I remember a lot of people farming for this one. Crossfire, HCS, tactical mag, slide shot, swashbuckler. Might be good for PvP. With his syncopation, that one doubles up this week. Chamber compensator, flared magwell, steady hands, head seeker, Sura synergy. And finally, the Palmyra B, confined launch, alloy casing, auto loading holster, chain reaction. So that is a pretty good. It's pretty good for a rocket launch, actually. So if you haven't got a good rocket launcher, this one is worth picking up at Banshee. The Hake Breach Armour as well. It's your Banshee weekly weapons for the week. Finally, then, let's go over to the Eververse store and say hello to Tess. We've got Justified Cobalt. We've got Celestia. I don't have that one, so I think I'm going to buy it. I do have a uh, an excess of Bright Dust at the minute. got Piled High. And the Mirthmobile. Look at that. Ice Carving. We've got Candy Cane Projection. An ornament there for the Vex Mythoclast. I think I shall get. Infinite Gift. Very nice indeed. We've got the uh, Divine Messenger. We've got the Ice Chime. Also, Icy Elegant Shell. That's very good. Look at that. Little bug. We have Aki Sweater. <laughs> we have Get That Bread. Big ornament there. Shout out to DMG. We got Piled High. In that one. We've got Howling Blizzard. Shower of Gifts. Beneficence. That one. I haven't got that one again, so let's get that. Dawning Celebration. Brilliant Laurel. Pretty good one as well. Let's get that. I need all the bright dust today. Finally, Dawning Warmth. I do like that. That is very good. That is your ever store bright dust items for the week. Well, that is about it for your weekly reset information on the 26th of December 2023. I think the big news this week is we got a new story. It's also the final week of the dawning, so make sure you get those god rolls. Whatever you get up to in Destiny 2 this week, I hope you have a good time. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Really, really helps me out on the channel. Also, that like button too. Thanks again. See you soon.